This is a very annoying list to play against, to be honest. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What's going on guys and welcome back to some more gameplay videos. Yesterday we did have our mystery crate part number two where we actually gave away that mystery convention edition booster. Congratulations Brandon, thank you so much for watching the video, commenting on the video, and even stopping by Grand Slam. We really do appreciate it. Now before we jump into today's video, a couple things I want to kind of just get off the plate. One, you may notice uh, we've got a bit of a different little layout here. Did a little bit of rearranging this weekend, so uh, things will look slightly different from here on out. On top of that, though, if you are not already, we do have a giveaway going on right now. The way you enter is by subscribing to our channel. We also have four other places that you can do that. Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. If you follow us, subscribe to us, or join each of those platforms, you have the best chance to win an Innistrad Midnight Hunt bundle. Uh, so please do take the time to do that. It really does mean a lot to have you guys in our community. We welcome everybody, all new members. It's great to have you here, and uh, hopefully we're going to have a really fun time together. So let's jump into today's deck. We're looking at General Historic today. We've been in Historic Raw for the last two weeks. Thought I'd give something else a shot before the new Standard rotation hits, and we've got a lot more new stuff in Standard. We're probably going to be jumping back into that very, very soon. Uh, and we're kicking it off with Jeskai Mastery Control. This is a very interesting list. Um, the idea being essentially we control the game with things like Unholy Heat, we've got Lightning Helix, Prismari Command, uh, Anger of the Gods to Sweep, uh, Memory Lapse, Archmage's Charm, all the good stuff that you would normally expect out of a Jeskai control list. Uh, but then on top of that, we can bring it all back all at once with Mizzix Mastery, which is just an absolute powerhouse card that allows you to replay every instant and sorcery in your graveyard if you overload it. You don't have to overload it. Uh, in deck testing, it's been really nice to just be able to pull like an Anger of the Gods against an aggro list or something along those lines. Uh, now, sitting at the top end, we do have Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, obviously a control masterpiece. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, very happy to have that there. Uh, we do have Shark Typhoon as well, a great way to over control the game. Depending on the game or, or the matchup, we tend to cycle this away, but if we can get to it, it's a great option. Uh, Torrential Gear Hulk also here to uh, really be able to replay some stuff from the graveyard, but also get a lot of damage in and at instant speed. Pretty good. Uh, and then Magma Opus, of course, as well. Full four Magma Opus. Now, this is a really interesting card. We can either discard it to create a treasure token, just help ramp us a little bit, or uh, we can save it, and depending on the matchup, that might be the, the way that we go, uh, to deal four damage divided however we choose, tap a couple permanents, and then get a 4-4 four, four and draw some cards. Very powerful card in, in the long term if we can get that far. Depending on the matchup, though, obviously, that may not be the place. So we are going to do the best we can to kind of run through that. There's nothing too crazy in the lands here. We did go with the Hall of the Storm Giants. I should mention also the deck creator of this was MTG Man. Uh, it was not my own deck creation, so we are kind of just testing out with this and just seeing how this one goes. So without further ado, guys, we are going to send this through a few games. I don't know how many games we're going to get in. We're going to shoot for 20 to 30 minutes ish, uh, hopefully about three games. But uh, we're going to see how this one goes. It should be a really fun time. Hopefully you guys will stick with us and enjoy the gameplay. Thanks a lot, guys. Let's jump into game one. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Do we want to keep this hand? I actually think so. We've got the Lightning Helix. We've also got the Archmage's Charm. Torrential Gearhawk also, I mean, very, very good. Not going to come down anytime soon, but can certainly do some damage late game. Uh, we can lead off with a Raw Grin Triumph and maybe see what we're up against here uh, and hopefully have a great time doing it. Uh, alright. Mono blue, maybe. I have no idea. Guys, how was your weekend? I hope you guys had a fantastic time. Um, I do apologize, actually, because we were a little late in getting the second part of that mystery crate up, uh, which was a bit odd because we really, we really pushed to try and get it done sooner, but it just didn't happen for us, so we got it up yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed those mystery crates. They are so, so fun. Uh, I really do enjoy it quite a lot. 
Uh, and so I really hope that you guys do as well. I'm going to go ahead and try and burn this out here. Perfect. That is absolutely stunning. Uh, there's an anger of the gods as well. Uh, I think what we're going to do, oops, I meant to actually enter that untapped, but I guess it's okay because we're not necessarily giving any info away. Um, this really doesn't do anything uh, because we're not playing a lot of lands. So, uh, I mean, we're playing a lot of lands, but they're not actually doing anything. Very curious to see. I guess they're just going to field of ruin us a lot, maybe. Um, let's go ahead and throw this out uh, and we can just pass here. Now, they do have that Field of Ruin that they can get a land off of the field here if they would like, but we're easy countering the Felidar Retreat. Not even a worry here. Do not want to see that come down. Uh, and hopefully, this turn will be a good one. Uh, let's get this down. Go ahead and throw this out. Uh, and we'll draw a card and start ticking up this Teferi here. Very curious to see actually how this... Uh, this deck that they have got here works. They've got three Confounding Conundrum. Not a card you see very often in Historics, so I'm very curious. Uh, also, I feel like I'm really squished in this corner. Hold on, we got this, we got this. Nope, wrong way. I'm gonna widen that a little bit here. All right, that's a little better. All right, uh, you can see there's a bedroom behind me, surprise. Uh, all right, let's see. What is the opponent going to do? Uh, we are kind of baiting them into thinking we've got a counter, which we just don't. Um, a fifth confounding conundrum. I'm very curious as to what this deck is trying to do. Is this trying to blow up all of our lands at once, maybe? They might be planning to Field of Ruin us this time. Uh, which is, I mean, solid. It's pretty good. Looks like maybe not. All right. Uh, in that case, I'm going to throw out the Shark Typhoon. Let's see if they counter it. They could very easily have a counter. Uh, but this is going to add value to basically everything that we do. So, figure now is the good time. Sure, we do have a basic land. It's not great, uh, but it's something. <laughs> it feels weird not having the camera in front of me. It's over here now. Um, uh, yeah, they get a land back. Um, we'll just do this. The thing about it is, okay, so we do have to replay. This is really cool, but like, we've already got the stuff out. We have to put four lands back. Very good. Very good. Uh, but hopefully we can still make this happen. I have no idea. This is a weird deck. This is really cool. And they're going to return to fairy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we do need to discard two cards. I think it's just these two. <laughs> I'm curious as to how they win the game. Uh, like, I guess it might just be Felidar Retreat or this weird... This guy? <laughs> uh, maybe we should have kept one of the Angers. I guess that would have been better, but that's okay. They're going to bounce back that. Sure. We can cycle that away. Um, we'll do this and we'll pass. Discard a card. Um, get rid of the steam vents here. That's fine. We don't, I mean, it really isn't that big of a deal at this point. This is annoying, but it's not game ending. Destroy all lands. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is annoying. Uh, yeah, I mean, they are doing it. This is a weird deck. It's a very weird deck. There's a magma opus. It's not very helpful. All right, so that's all lands gone. Um, hmm. So the trick is we're gonna lose all of the stuff when we each return lands from the graveyard to the battlefield, right? So it's not super helpful. I mean, we play it out, but it's just going to get bounced back. But that's really just so we don't have to discard a card. At some point, I guess we do have to just say, OK, we're probably going to have to concede here. Um, because I don't think that we can like get around this very well. Yeah. Uh,
Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede here. This is a very annoying list to play against, to be honest, but they got it. That's a very cool deck. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's jump into game two. Let's see if we can do a little better. All right, guys, here we are for our second game. Uh, and this is a pretty strong opener. We've got the Magma Opus that we can ramp ourselves if we feel the need. Uh, additionally, we do have a nice little turn to Glacial Fortress, which is going to help us get these uh, down without having to tap or, or enter a, uh, a shock land here. So we'll see how this works. Interesting. Okay. Uh, very cool. Let's do this. Go ahead and discard that Magma Opus. Might be worth it for us to steal this. Uh, Archmage's Charm does allow us to steal a one CMC card, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, it is just a permanent, so that's kind of cool. I'm very curious to see how this one goes. They might try and just take that charm now. That's probably the right play, to be honest. Uh, Prismari Command, also very good. It does deal with this. Um, all right. Cool. Uh, let's do this. We can actually just destroy target artifacts. Draw two cards and discard two cards. That's not a bad idea. Or just create a treasure token. I think we're going to draw two and destroy target artifacts. Uh, we'll destroy this, obviously. So they do get to draw a card here, which is very solid. We also, though, get to uh, pick up a couple things. I don't love these magma opuses stacking up in our hands, so I think I am going to ditch both of them. Uh, solely because we just, we're not anywhere close to playing them. Uh, Expressive Iteration, a really great card for us. Ideally, we get Mizzix Mastery at some point during this game and just are able to, to kind of go crazy. Um, that is kind of the overall goal of the deck, so I'm very curious to see if we can make that happen. Uh, Robber of the Rich, very scary card. All right, let's do this. Never play a land when you do the Expressive Iteration. That's a terrible idea. Um, I like this. I think we're going to why did i do that we should have just done this that was really stupid um that was really dumb all right well we're putting that back definitely should have thought about about that a little better and put out the or put the shark typhoon back into the deck um we could have mizzix masteried for the magma opus done a lot of damage very quickly to them uh which would have been great so that was definitely a mistake i was thinking to have a blocker uh Oh, wow, and they stole a Magma Opus uh, to be able to Shark Typhoon, get a blocker out, that kind of deal. They don't know that we have the Shark Typhoon, worth noting. Um, so we might be able to kind of sneak in a little kill here. Very curious, very curious. That was a definite misplay on my end, though. No doubt about it. Um, uh, I guess we cancel, actually. We let that resolve. They're obviously going to just take a shark or a, yeah, a shark typhoon here. Um, but then we just get to shark typhoon again. That general is scary. Sure. <laughs> Exile a card from our graveyard. They're going to get that magma opus out of there, which does make sense. Um, yep. I'm going to do this. One, two, three. We're going to get rid of one of these at the very least. There's a lightning helix, which is actually quite good. Um, get rid of one of these robbers. It's not going to save us, save us, but it does get rid of another robber, which is, I think, worth it for sure. Ooh, also a very good card. Um, interesting. Uh... What do we do? I mean, I think the play is definitely this. We return the general, then we untap stuff for Lightning Helix. I think that's probably just correct. Whoops, nope, not what I meant. I'm misclicking, like, a lot. <laughs> uh, actually, no, we had to do that. I'm dumb. Obviously, we had to do that. Uh, because now we can Lightning Helix. That was stupid. Uh... I'm going to blow that up, I think. So we got to get this out of here. That's going to gain us three. That puts us up to nine. 
I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, I have been misplaying very clearly here. Magma Opus off the Mizzix Mastery would have done wonders for us, uh, but we didn't do it. All right, so they're pushing back the Teferi here pretty hard. They're going to draw two cards, I assume, off of the Archmage's Charm. Um, a very, very strong card for them to pull. It would have been good for us, too. Drawing two cards is always helpful. You can't be mad about it. Um, all right. And we just keep getting lands. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's draw a card. Please give me something. Give me something. Okay, a Lightning Helix is something. I'll take it. Uh, let's go ahead, get this out of here. Put ourselves back up to three. Um, untap you two. We just need something. We just need something. Um, a Mizzix Mastery would be amazing. Even now, it would still be amazing. Uh, so that would be fine. They're going to get a Lightning Helix out, sure. Do we still have... Yeah. All right. I think we're losing this game, too. Um, I think what we should have done realistically is set this deck up a bit more, like, teched it out a bit more. Uh, put a few extra Anger of the Gods in here, uh, because we only have two. So my assumption is that we just don't have quite enough of those, uh, being that we're on the best of one ladder. Let me be very clear. Um, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede, guys. Let's jump into game three. Hopefully we can get at least one win with this. We'll see right now. One other thing that I wanted to mention as we are jumping into this last game here, guys, and this is definitely a keep. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention to you all, uh, we do have a new line, I say a new line, but a new little subcategory of, uh, of merch available in our store over at itresolvesmtg.com. If you're interested in picking that merch up, it's a really fun little line. It's the be lucky line, uh, in, te in terms of be lucky, being lucky is better than being good. Uh, and so... I do highly encourage you all to uh, to check that out. I think we can actually just wait um, uh, and, and pick something up if you'd like. It'd be very, very appreciated. Uh, let's see what they want to do here on turn two. Obviously, the Allosaurus Shepherd is interesting, a bit scary. They're floating a green. Why are they floating a green? I'm going to try and unholy heat this. I'm confused as to why they floated a green. They had no reason? <laughs> uh, interesting. Okay, uh, I'm just going to pass with Lightning Helix slash Memory Lapse up. Chances are we're just going to try and Helix whatever they play. Uh, and not that. Um, hmm, okay. So I think what we do is we let that resolve, then we just play land and Helix it. Uh, we do have to pay the ward cost. Uh, I guess we could have done that anyway, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, I kind of messed up there. Again, misplaying like crazy, uh, but that's okay. Auto pay, that's fine. All right, get that out of there. Uh, we could have been a turn cycle ahead. That was a mistake, but hey. Playing rough today, guys. It's been a while since I've played Historic, really. Kind of weird. Um... Are you out there? We're going to Lightning Helix the Beast Whisper. And now we have Memory Lapse available to us for whatever comes down next. And we're actually getting fairly close to Magma Opus. I mean, we're not, we're still a few turns away, obviously, but uh, Magma Opus can be a big game ender here for something like this. Uh, I guess I Memory Lapse this. It's three mana, so chances are in this deck there's very little that they're going to have for three, above three mana, other than like Crater Hoof. <laughs> um, and so I feel like it's worth it to, to get this. What are these sleeves? <laughs> That's really gross. Um, all right. Throw you down. All right, so here's the trick. Do we want to, now that we've got the Mizzix Mastery, do we want to throw this out to get to the Overload? So if, Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, I think we do. Because if we can overload this, we need one more land to get it. I guess we could have waited until the end of the turn, but it really didn't matter. We're not going to do anything with the Magma Opus aside from that, so I think it's worth it. I'm cool with it. 
Cool. There comes the Imperius Perfect and a land. Uh, hopefully they don't have anything else. I kind of doubt it because they didn't last turn. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's very good. Um, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need exactly eight. A2 life. We're going to overload Mizzix Mastery. This is the cool part, hopefully. Uh, assuming this actually works, which it should. All right, uh, select a card to cast. This one, you. Gonna go there, uh, tapping you and you. Submit. Uh, unholy Heat, we'll do it here. Lightning Helix here, Lightning Helix here. We'll decline that. All right, I mean, that's a very strong swing in the right direction. <laughs> um, I guess we should have technically done the Mizzix Mastery last, but either way, it should be fine. Get that off of the field and then Magma Opus dealing four and drawing two. That seems good. <laughs> uh, that was what we were hoping for all along. Glad we were able to get there. Uh, it's still not a win. I mean, very clearly, they they could very easily get some bigger stuff out. Uh, and so we do still have to be a little concerned here. But uh, I have hope. I have very strong hope. Uh, we do attack in with the 4-4, fully understanding that, you know, at some point they could swing with a lot stronger stuff. But we have the Torrential Gear Hulk that we can just flash out just to kind of help end the game here. Uh, the sooner we can end the game, obviously, the better. Um, but we do have a life total in our advantage at this point, so even like Crater Hoof isn't necessarily just an easy win. <laughs> All right, they're gonna take it. <clears throat> that means we could could represent Lethal next turn, uh, but we'll see. Um, they do have a lot. I mean, this is an Elves deck, so we do have to be very careful here. Obviously. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Very good. All right, we no longer have lethal because we can't attack with just a 4-4 into this. Uh, don't auto pass, actually. Yeah. OK. All right, I mean, this is elves. This is what we expect from elves. So not a huge surprise here. Um, yep, they're going to attack in for five. We can save ourselves the damage. Um, and that allows us to get in for an attack. So I guess we I kind of get in for an attack, to be clear. Um, we do this for no value, um, but I think it's kind of worth it. What do we want here? If we got an Anger of the Gods, we could wipe the Clan Collars, which would also wipe a lot of other things off the board here. The only thing that wouldn't leave is the Marwin, I believe. Yeah, um, they do have Layer of the Hydra here, but obviously not activatable. All right. Opponent just sitting here. Um, what do we want? Magma Opus would be nice. Uh, we can get in for some damage. We'll just block here. Uh, nothing too crazy, but this just saves us as much damage as we can for now. It's a free block, essentially. I mean, we we used everything in our graveyard, so we're not going to have a whole lot there. Oh, that's different. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can attack with Torrential Gear Hulk. I don't think we should. <laughs> I got one card. Hopefully it's nothing too crazy. They do have the clan collars so they can get more power on the field. Uh, to be clear, if you don't know what this does, it allows you to pull out other elvish clan collars in your deck. So they could do this two more times uh, and really pump things up here. Um, but I think we have to remain on defense for the time being. That six damage is going to be difficult to deal. Um, This does become a 7-7, seven, seven, which is, I mean, kind of good. If they attack in with, like, Marwin or they use the Marwin, like, we might be able to get something? I I don't know. 
We've not had great luck with this deck. I do think that this was tuned well, very clearly for like a best of three kind of deal, um, which makes sense and is probably a better way to do it. But um, I, I think with some tuning, this could be really, really good for um, best of one as well. Um, but this is a nice little starting point at the very least. This will be our last game, by the way. We're going to wrap up after this. Um, yeah, sure. A 10-10. Well, that's scary. All right. What you doing? We just need a good card. <laughs> not a land. Not... A draw spell would be helpful. Like an Archmage's Charm would be kind of nice. Teferi really wouldn't do that much. And at this point, Anger of the Gods is kind of out of the, the question. I think we pass and take 10. I don't love that. It's going to get some extra points here. going to be like a 12-12. Oh, I guess they can power it up even more if they really want to. How much do they have? Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they can power it up a good bit. Okay. They could have done more that turn, I think, uh, with that, but that's okay. All right, that's half of our life total gone. <laughs> uh, that's not helpful, like at all. Uh, but we got to do something, so. Uh, let's just do it. Uh, but the problem is, this is a 7-8. <laughs> we cannot win. Uh, I, I think there is absolutely no way to win. Why did we even activate? We truthfully shouldn't have. Um, yeah, I think we're just dead. Three games down. Oh, that feels bad. That feels really bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and concede, guys. Let's talk about this one. All right, so uh, obviously not our best showing. Uh, I do think that this deck obviously was tuned fairly heavily for best of three, uh, and you can kind of tell in the way that if, if you go back and look at the deck tech, you can kind of tell there's a lot of two ofs and things like that. So the idea is that the games are going to go long. There was initially a sideboard with it, a full sideboard, so obviously that's an indicator as well. Uh, but all in all, it's a cool idea. The Mizzix Mastery, just the card Mizzix Mastery that hit Historic is backbreaking uh for a lot of decks um we see it in a lot of other kind of reanimator lists it's one of my favorites uh is the like creature slash instant sorcery reanimator list where you can basically reanimate uh emergent ultimatum with mizzix mastery which then uh reanimates a bunch of other stuff or is it eerie ultimatum i think it's eerie ultimatum anyway uh, the idea being that it is a very powerful card. Uh, and this does take advantage of it in a slightly different way. It didn't work super well for us today. That being said, I do think if you take this list, you tune this list, you can really get something special out of it uh, and potentially really take down a lot of games. I think a couple extra anger of the gods, things like that would do a lot. Uh, but all in all, very fun. I love the Jeskai uh, color matchup. I think that uh, you can do a lot with Jeskai. Um, and it does have some really powerful cards in Historic right now. Obviously, later this week, I believe, we are getting uh, Innistrad Midnight Hunt, uh, which does mean we probably will be jumping more into standard, at least for a little bit. Then we'll kind of we'll kind of cycle through maybe a little uh, during the week. We might come up with a more of a schedule for that, but we'll see. Uh, but regardless, guys, thank you so much for watching. I apologize we didn't get a win, but you know what? We had fun doing it anyway. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, and please do make sure you enter that giveaway for that Midnight Hunt bundle. But until next time, guys guys. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Hopefully you have uh, some fun, some fun games and maybe some better luck than we did. <laughs>